Hello, this is Rick. I'm getting ready to filter the foils from the solution in the AP tank. Just can't pan over here. Unplug the socket. There we go. That way you can hear me. I'm going to be filtering it here in a coffee filter in a filter basket from an actual electric per coffee pot. There's the craft. Filter basket goes in just like that. Oh, it's sweet. I love it. Shaped something like an Erlenmeyer flask. Numbers and all on it. I like it. Anyway, once again, as always, burp some solution out. And I'm getting kind of ahead of myself here, I guess. I'm doing everything left-handed. Got to hold the cam in my right hand. Got to wet the filter. Figure out how I'm going to walk around it. I'm feeling everything as I'm doing it. Pay attention to what I'm doing. You hold the cam at the right spot too, so you can see what I'm working with. Okay, well, I guess I can set this over here for the time being so it's out of my way. And that's all wet down for right now. Pop the lid on the tank. Get that out of the way. The solution's a deep green. A little deeper than antifreeze green. Now I can carefully pour the solution through filter. Let it go. It'll run through pretty rapidly. Once this runs through, I think I'm going to move farther over here under the light so you can better see what's going on. You're not really missing anything right now. I don't see any foils in the solution or any of that. Just running it through, catching any of the fine sediment, I guess. I don't know why. I'm going to rinse the foils real good with running water. Well, spritz them with water anyway. I'm not going to put any running water on it. And knock holes in the filter and mess stuff up for sure. Alright. Now. Here we go. Now you can actually see inside, which is what I want. It's the whole idea of doing this video anyway. Add the solution to the bird container right in here too. What the heck? Let it go through. Now grab the bucket and pour some more of the solution through. I always filter all of it just in case there's some fine foils, which it looks like there's. There's some sediment in there anyway. I don't see it being yellow, so it's not foils, but anyway, yeah, it's the whole idea. If something's floating in solution when you're sloshing it around, when you filter it all, you're not going to lose any of your foils. It's the whole idea. I just recover your foils like the AP system because it does dissolve the base metals, leaves all your gold as foils, so you're always looking at your gold. You don't ever lose sight of it. It's all solids, pour it through the filter, recover all your fine foils. And that looks like way off down there in the back corner. This ain't even going to start to have zoom enough to see it. You can't change the zoom once I'm filming. Looks like there's a small piece of foil back there. And then just rattle my jaw. We haven't even started to get down to read where the real foils are out in this tank yet. This is all excess solution that was required to dissolve off the base metal so that we could recover the foils, which are still down here in the bottom of this tank.